From secondary school, we have been introduced to chemical equation, but balancing that equation was always scary. Today, let's try to tame the ghost of balancing equations. Every chemical reaction has two sides. Left portion of the equal sign is called reactants and right portion of it is known as products. The principle of chemical equation balancing says that products and reactants will contain similar types of atoms and same number of each type of atom. Now let's take this example. Firstly, the reactants has got hydrogen and oxygen atom. Hence, the products must have hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Here we see that the products and reactants both have similar types of atoms. Secondly, the reactants and products both should have equal number of atoms of hydrogen and oxygen. So reactants have 2H2 or 4 hydrogen atoms in total while O2 means 2 oxygen atom. Now coming to the products part, 2H2O means 4 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms. So both sides match with our principle. Now one small disclaimer here. Number of molecules of reactants and products doesn't need to match. Only the number of atoms should match. Well now let's come to the actual rule. I call it the MnOH rule or metal, non-metal, oxygen and hydrogen rule. This rule has got four steps. Step one, balance metal. Step two, balance non-metal. Check step one. Step 3. Balance Oxygen. Check. Step 1 and 2. Step 4. Balance Hydrogen. Check. Step 1, 2 and 3. Notice that we have to check every previous step each time we balance a new one. Now let's balance some equations, shall we? Let's start with the simplest one. Our rule says follow these steps, but we see no metal or non-metal here. So we will start from step 3. Reactants have two oxygen atom while product has only one. So double the number of molecules by putting two in front of H2O molecule. This will make the number of oxygens in product equal. After step three, let's move on to step four. Reactants have two H atoms while products contain two H2 or four hydrogen atoms. So we must put two in front of H2 and the equation is balanced. Alright, now that was easy. Let's try another one. Now to balance this equation, let's start from step 1. Magnesium is the metal here. We can understand clearly that we have to put 3 before MgOH2. Let's move to step 2. Nitrogen is the non-metal here. Reactants has N2 or 2 nitrogen atoms, but products have only 1. So put 2 in front of NH3. Now check step 1. See if magnesium's balance is ok or has it changed. It seems fine in this case. Let's move on to step 3 then. Product 3MgOH2 has 3 times 2 or 6 oxygens so we should write 6 in front of H2O to make oxygen balanced. Now let's check if step 1 and step 2 are still balanced. Well. Magnesium and nitrogen both still seem to be balanced. Now move to last step. We see 12H in reactant. Products also have 6 plus 6 or 12 hydrogen atoms. 6 from 3MgOH2 and 6 from 2NH3. So this step is already balanced. Check the previous steps. They must also be balanced. Having fun? Let's make it a bit harder. Here metal PB is already balanced on both sides, so let's move on to step 2. The non-metal is N, reactant PB NO32 has 2 nitrogens, while product NO2 has only 1. So let's put 2 in front of NO2. Check step 1. PB seems balanced yet. Now in step 3, let's balance oxygen. We have 6O in PB NO32. Now, Take a deep breath, the next balancing step is going to get a bit messy. Looking at the products, we have O distributed in PBO, 2NO2 and O2. If we calculate O in products, we get 1O from PBO, 4O from 2NO2 and 2O from O2, a total of 7O. Now let's think. 
Reactants have six, while products have seven oxygens. We can't make six into seven by multiplying by any whole number, can we? The correct way is to put two before PbNO32 and make number of oxygens in reactant 12. Now we will come to the product side and to match the number of oxygens we will put two in front of PbO and change the two in front of NO2 into four. The number of oxygens will become 12 in products. Yes, there are other ways to balance the number of oxygens, but if we do it in any way other than this, you will end up missing number of other atoms. Go ahead, try it for yourself. Check this step 1 and 2. You will find that they don't need any adjustments. Okay students, here's a tip for you all. The one rule can solve all your chemical equation balancing problems. You might need a lot of practice to master this art. Some equations take only seconds to solve while others take several minutes. Here's one problem for you to think about. Can you balance this equation? Comment below if you can.